Good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it's time for our daily devotions. Today is Monday, January the 3rd, and we are continuing in the Gospel of Luke. Uh, We're at the very beginning part of the Gospel in chapter 2, and uh, we are starting actually in verse 21, if you'd like to join me there now. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name, given to, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the time came for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the, of the Lord, every male who first opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit into the temple, And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation that you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And his father and his mother marveled at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, This child is appointed for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is opposed. And a sword will pierce through your own soul also, so that thoughts from many hearts may be revealed. And there was a prophetess Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived with her husband seven years from when she was a virgin. And then as a widow until she was about eighty-four, she did not depart from the temple, worshiping with fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she began to give thanks to God and speak of him to all who were waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. And when they had performed everything according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own town in Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. All right, so this was uh, our reading here um, for worship just yesterday. And, uh, uh, you know, hearing about Jesus um, being, well, let me take that back. The the presentation of Jesus was last week. And then, um, you know, the the reading for tomorrow <laughs> is was yesterday. Okay, so... Um, Jesus is being presented in the temple after just being born. A sacrifice is offered up for him. You have the first shedding of blood of Jesus when he is circumcised. And, and, and this uh, for, foreshadows the shedding of his blood on the cross. Um, he's also, you know, being grafted into uh, Israel, uh, following through with the custom of circumcision that was given to Abraham. And uh, what we have here also are the words of the Nunc Dimittis in the liturgy, uh, Lord, let your servant depart in peace. We always uh, sing these words or chant these words after communion because now we have seen the Lord's Christ and we are putting our place, uh, I'm sorry, we are putting ourselves in the place of Simeon who has also seen the Lord's Christ and he is now saying that he can depart in peace because he has seen um, God in the flesh. And so we're saying these words where we are chanting these words after communion because we have received also uh, the revelation of the Lord's Christ in the, in the sacred meal of his body and blood and giving thanks to God um, for, that, um, uh, for that reception of that gift. So we will continue tomorrow as we hear about Jesus being in the temple at 12 years old. Let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Okay, everyone, um, announcements for today. So we have a lot of people who are sick, who are ill. Uh, we have a lot of people who have COVID right now in the congregation. So asking for your special prayers for them um, that I know of. No one has it seriously, and people are beginning to recover, but I haven't checked in with everyone. So please keep um, all of our, our church members on your in your prayers. Uh, tomorrow we are beginning season saints here at Holy Shepherd at 1 p.m., it's going to be Tuesday, January the 4th, so that'll be our first ministry event of 2022. So hope that you can join us as we begin. We're going to be continuing the Bible study we left off doing, which was a Bible study on trees or wood in the Bible. And so tomorrow we're going to be looking at um, the staff that Moses used to part the Red Sea. Um, let's see, uh, confirmation, youth confirmation is happening this coming Sunday, it's going to be back at its usual time at 6 p.m. Um, also, getting ready to send out some invitations for our 25th anniversary. Now, we have been putting these in the bulletin. Um, we do ask that um, you uh, send an email to RSVP for this. It's going to be February the 19th at, um, I believe it's 6 p.m. It could be 6.30, but I don't have that in front of me right now. But you, you will have seen those invitations in the bulletin as well as in the email newsletter. So, Please get your RSVPs in so that we know how many are coming for food. We're going to have some um, exciting guests there. Pastor Hubel is going to be there, Pastor Kitzman, a number of other area pastors, we hope. So, um, uh, you know, this is going to be an important milestone for our congregation. So hope you can um, attend. We'll have some special music for this event also. And uh, looking forward to this. Uh, that is, I believe, all the announcements I have for today. God bless this the rest of your Monday as uh, as we get started here in 2022. And, um, oh, also one more thing. We do have your church offering envelopes ready to be picked up. Um, m many of you have done so already, but they are in boxes that are out in Nice Hall. If you were not able to do so this past Sunday or previously, um, we will have giving statements for 2021 coming out soon, along with a State of the Church letter. So that's all the announcements that I now have. God bless this the rest of your Monday. We look forward to seeing you back again tomorrow for Daily Devotions.